Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Chris. In today's video, I'm gonna do a little tour of my pantry and show you how I prepare for the zombie apocalypse or just any natural emergency or just what's in my pantry, just in case nothing ever happens. But it's good to always prepare. So I've been working on this for a few years now and uh, the pantry that I have actually says pantry, which is pretty awesome. As you can see. Now I didn't go in here and clean it up or anything before the video, but it is somewhat organized. So we're gonna go in here and kind of just see. I like to joke about the zombie apocalypse, but also if anything were to happen, I do have enough food in here probably for at least, I would say a year. So let's go down over here and start here. Now just so you know, I didn't go out and buy everything all at once. Again, this is stuff that I've accumulated little by little over the last few years. Even when I lived at my other house, I was uh, working on this. So let's just start over here. These are obviously ramen noodles. These are the vegan ones, the top ramen, soy sauce ramen. I've done several videos about these in the past, but they are really cheap and you get six in a pack. So I kind of grabbed a bunch of those. They, they store really well. And then as you can see in my, my latest video at Bargain Grocer, I always find deals. But so this is, you know, just like uh, tarragon vinegar, which I've never even tried, but they're really cheap. So I grabbed some vinegar, um, some apple cider vinegar, got some of that. You know, not everything here is food. So we've got, you know, and some of this is left over from stuff that I had for the movie making A44 last year. And some of this stuff is like, like this would be something from the vegan cuts box. So over, over here, we just have different drinks that I have that I got in the vegan cuts box that I just never tried yet. Uh, sugar, organic sugar and stuff, which most of my sugar is on the other side. This is not even mine. This was Rachel, she left it here. Over here, we have these. These store really well and it's a great meal. These uh, Tasty Bite organic uh, coconut squash. Again, I got these at uh, the Barton Grocer for really cheap. They normally go for um, a few dollars, but I got them for like, I think they were $1.50 each. And I grabbed a bunch of them, but I also, I only have one pack of this left, but the, the Maya Kamal Everyday Doll. Super good stuff. Some walnuts back here. Uh, these are good rations to have, easy to make. You could make it right, right in a cast iron uh, over a, a flame if you, had, if you had to use a campfire. Peanut butter, uh, usually I buy this stuff. This is you know creamy peanut butter. Uh, for the dogs, uh, when I give Indy his vitamins and stuff, I usually put peanut butter on the vitamin and he eats it up that way. I think I'm kind of low on this, but we got veggie stock back here. Perfect to use. You can also make your own. Uh, I think this is uh, vitamins that, that were left here. Uh, different uh, sparkling waters that I got for the cast and crew on the set of the movie that I just never use because I don't really drink this stuff, but it's there just in case I need it. Same with this juice, these juices. Uh, they're there if I need it. We've got some pasta, which probably should go back over on this shelf over here. Put that back over here. We'll get back over there in a minute. Anything that I can really use, I just save. These were really cheap and these are really good, by the way. I think these were a dollar at the bargain grocer that I was just at. We have Girl Scout cookies that I got. These might be a little bit old. I probably should have put these in the freezer, but I thought I would eat them a lot sooner, but they are from last year. And then this is a box of my Healthy, healthy Cell Vitamins uh, by Vegan Essentials. Vegan Essentials by Healthy Cell. These are little gel packs like this. I've talked about these several times. I actually got a link below if you guys are interested in keeping your, you know, your immune system strong and stuff like that. And you want some uh, vitamins designed, uh, especially for vegans. Those are great to have. I actually, when I'm about to use them, I put them in the refrigerator, get them all cold but I've already got a couple boxes in the refrigerator as we speak. So that's an extra one right there. That's it for that shelf. Up here, I have some different like uh, soaps and stuff that I bought, um, different soaps, stuff like that. Uh, not everything here is even food. And I got some, some tea that I have, some tea that was sent to me a while back, and then a bunch of uh, different knives and stuff 
for culinary stuff. And in here, I think this is just like caps and stuff for mason jars. Okay, let's move down here. I got a lot of canned goods because canned goods stay, uh, stay good for, they're non-perishable, so they stay good for a long time, even long past the expiration dates. So I've stocked up on a lot of uh, different, really cheap. These, you know, I try to buy them at Aldi um, or Wegmans. Wegmans, when they're on sale and Aldi usually has the cheapest, but um, a lot of times I'll try to find like the salt-free ones just in case I have to prepare food for the dogs um, as well. But it, it goes all the way back. So there's a lot of different, you know, beans, corn, peas, bean, like just everything different. And of course I got some Vago because they like to hook me up. So this is their vegan form of their Nutella, which is really good. And I've got a few jars of that. In the back over here, there's some more um, veggie stock. And then um, we got some chili that I got at the Bargain Grocer, which is, uh, it was only 99 cents, which normally it's like three something. And then I, I buy a lot of garbanzo beans, chickpeas. They're just, they're great to use. Um, if we go back even further here, uh, you know, we have some more uh, vinegar. We got some apple cider vinegar, some regular white vinegar because you never know, vinegar comes in handy for lots of different things, not just cooking. Uh, there's coffee here. I don't drink coffee, but this was left over from the movie for the catering and stuff. We've got some more Vago products that they sent me, some more chocolates, you know, the grid went down and stuff. I'd have a little bit of chocolate to last me, which I would definitely savor. And then um, Edward and Sons, these were also left over for the, for the, from the movie. And these are four single servings of, of miso soup. Uh, I think there's what, 30 calories in it. This is really good. And uh, uh, you know, every once in a while, I'll just put some of that boiling water and I got some nice miso soup. Uh, over here, there's some more Vago. This is the white chocolate. And then there's popcorn. I don't ever use popcorn, but it's there in case I need it, in case the power goes down and we're on our own. You never know when that'll happen. Down to the next shelf. Some more stuff from the movie. We got Dandy's because Dandy's really hooked us up. John ended up making a bunch of uh, Rice Krispie treats with it, but uh, they have the individual packs and also the little minis. So we have those from Dandy's. And over here while we're at it, there's another box of Dandy's. So it's, it's about that time of year to make s'mores and stuff so there's some bigger canned food uh in case again you know either for myself or for the dogs making the dog food in here is uh some different products by uh neat foods we got the black bean brownies uh the cookies and i think there's an oatmeal cookie oh and there's the neat meat for the burger and I have, you know, this was really cheap, like $1.50, so I bought some instant oatmeal just in case. And behind that, there's some more instant oatmeal. We've got a pasta machine. Thank you, Julie, for that. Uh, we got some, you know, wet wipes and stuff in case we need some of that. Um, some more Vago bars that I have from being hooked up by Vago. Some of the best chocolate in the world right there. So there's our chocolate supply on this shelf some vegan buddy dog treats. These are like a peanut butter flavor for the dogs. Down here on the, the bottom shelf, I'm hoping you guys can actually see. Uh, we have some different dog food for the dogs. This is wet dog food. Uh, natural balance if they, if you know, it's canned so it'll definitely last longer. Uh, there's some coconut water here, which was from also from the movie. We have more of the dog food and, uh, you know, in case we need disinfectant and stuff, we have some hydrogen peroxide and some alcohol, um, some Dr. Bronner's and some dish detergent, it looks like back there. And that's all for the bottom shelf. Moving over to the side over here, we've got some uh, dog food for the dogs, their wild earth. Um, I also make their own dog food, so they get a little bit of this with um, an actual bigger portion of the food that I make for them. I bought a big bag of rice for their food, or you know, I could use it too. 
And over here, there's some Sour Patch Kids that and Swedish Fish. Actually, uh, I think I did not buy this. Rachel bought all this for, I think, Halloween of last year and just left it all here. So this is a little bit cluttered up here. Uh, as you can see, we have more of the dog treats over here. So there's, uh, yeah, I got snacks. We got some snacks here. We've got some soy curls. Got some vegan mac and cheese. I've got a bunch of herbs and spices that I haven't opened yet. These were a lot of the things that I use a lot of paprika. You know, I'll, whenever I see a deal on some of the stuff, I'll buy it. Uh, this Burberry, I got this on Amazon Prime Day. It's normally like eight or nine bucks. I got it for like three. Um, great Ethiopian spice. My last peanut butter cup right here. Uh, another Vago bar. So got a bunch of snacks, veggie chips, barucas. These are the Super Nuts, Right Rice Medley, crackers, more oatmeal, some, some more stuff, vitamins that were left here, um, powdered coconut milk, which we actually use for the, some, some of the cast and crew are using it in their coffee. I think there's mac and cheese in there. This is a bunch of pasta that I have, salad, olives, and some salt. We got some going back here, we got pasta. Uh, we have a lot more pasta over here going down to the next shelf actually let me reorganize this a little bit we got more pasta going right there over here we have some uh, whole cashews some my heart quinoa we got some of this chocolate here this is also a really really good chocolate uh, that they sent falafel mix almond butter cups from trader joe's we got our cornmeal back there and we got our drizzlicious these are Instapot uh, meals, the Jira rice, and there's a few other ones back there as well. As you can see, we got more um, pasta stuff, some, some more stuff from the Vegan Cuts box, the tomato basil soup, this uh, sweet chocolate milk, never tried that yet either, flour, rye flour, uh, some rice vinegar, pasta, more pasta, oat bran, cereal, uh, these breakfast biscuits, um, some jackfruit and shredded stuff like that. Uh, this is some uh, risotto, curry, some dried mango, and then I have like, you know, like cumin seeds and, you know, just different things in here that I might need. Some, some taco shells in the back. These have little bins here, different uh, panko um, crumbs by Edward and Sons. These are really good and usually use it on my mac and cheese. And we have some nice seasoning, big things of seasoning that uh, one of you guys actually sent me. And some more seasonings back here. So it's a bunch of seasonings. Um, and here we have like, you know, just random things like chia seeds and arrowroot powder, just, you know, so many different things are in here. Some uh, maple walnuts. Superfoods. It's just uh, egg replacer. This is a really good one. Anyway, so ton of stuff in there and here, just different baskets full of stuff. We got the sun-dried tomatoes. That's really eerie because my um, ring alarm keeps going off and it's like four in the morning. Uh, we have some rock cashew butter and different things that were left here. Uh, we got the neat egg. It works. And then moving our way down to the bottom over here, we have some different like croutons and sugar, a lot of croutons. This uh, Pasokan stuff is really good. Um, almond flour, some uh, white sesame and black sesame. And then some cooking stuff like condensed coconut milk and coconut milk stuff like that that I've had for a while some artichokes and then over here this is uh, I've been using a lot. I've been I got to restock on all this stuff but I've been buying a lot of this red these red lentils making them for my dog for the dog food a lot of stuff I, I pull from here uh, like I got these seeds that I just got for 50 cents and I need to go back and buy some more of these lentils because I'm as you can see I'm running low on those that used to be full and this is where the flour was. We got some more flour over here, some more high quality 
flower. Thanks to uh, Laura. Laura sent some organic pizza flour, which I'm going to make some nice pizza with that. We got some more pastas. More pasta. You know, that it keeps good for, like, uh, if you are in a emergency situation. Over here, we got some of the good catch. Um, raw almonds. And, you know, just random things. Some teas, moringa. We got some chips over here. We have a lot more of the canned goods. It goes all the way back, so we're kind of set on all that. Just different things. Date syrup. Some of that stuff I just showed you in the last video. I think that was left over from the... I think that was... I think this is left over. I, I, I never bought this. I don't know where this came from. This... Maybe uh, maybe Rachel left this here. So yeah, this is mainly just like canned food and, and jarred food. So we got more almonds over here. We got some salsa. I like, you know, when I'm eating super, super clean and healthy, I like to use salsa for uh, flavorings when I'm cooking. Um, throw that in there. Pickles, because I love pickles. Crushed tomatoes. We got a lot of peanut butter. Uh, this is my favorite peanut butter. Uh, jelly which I think was for the movie. Some more of this creamy peanut butter for the dogs. And then we have the uh, 24 vegan stir fry sauce. And they have really good products, 24 vegan, check them out. Some couscous in the back. And then when I go to the Asian store, some black bean garlic sauce. The Asian market, which I like going to. Going up, one more shelf over here. We have some more canned goods going all the way back. Got some soups, um, some vegan mayo got for really cheap. Rice, we have condiments and you know, more of this jelly. Uh, another 24 vegan, which I'll probably put back down there. Got this from uh, the Vegan Cuts box. Looks like I got some uh, sriracha sauce from 24 vegan, some Frank's Red Hot, uh, just different things here and these are some of the, the vegan jerky that I get at the Asian market. It's pretty cheap too. And then in the back over here, I try to get these whenever I go to Wegmans. They're, they were only 99 cents. Tomato basil sauce, and I, I love this stuff. If I'm gonna make pasta or pizza or whatever, you know, something to dip in, I, I love this sauce. So I, I like to stock up on these and they go way back so i have a ton of those and then up here i got more so whenever i go there i usually grab a couple because they're, they're really cheap and we got more pasta as you can see we got the louisville toppings which i did videos on a little while ago um what do we got here oh we got these from the expo these carrot bacon chips which are three different flavors we have the onion and the beet we got, you know, just some noodles, more canned goods. Yeah, we're set with the canned goods. Vegetable curry, rice, organic brown rice from 24 Vegan. So we'll just go ahead and put that back down there. So I'm kind of organizing as I go here. I think I got this in a Vegan Cuts box a, a long time ago. I'm never really out in the sun too much to even have to use it. Uh, this, I've never tried this. I found that it's, this is the Asian market as well. Organic, vegan potato cream soup um, but I'm hesitant to eat it because it's got so many ingredients in it so but it is vegan I don't know some more of my healthy cell vitamins and other than that you know, some rice some applesauce cups I like to put these in the freezer and then when they're frozen give them to the dogs they, they really love those we have some more Girl Scout cookies over here as you can see there it is. I'm set for a while if anything were to happen. I've got all the food I need for a zombie apocalypse for the dogs and I. And that's a tour of my pantry. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, remember, if you guys are interested in those healthy cell vitamins, the link is below. I also have a link for my Amazon store, different products that I, uh, that I like, that I buy. You can check that out. And there's always links to my merchandise, my apparel, and my ebook. So other than that, Stay safe, watch out for zombies, and I'll see you guys next time.